Hello, everybody. So today I want to talk about the recently introduced Cybertruck from Tesla and also talk about it from the angle of the battery system. So the Cybertrucks, they cost, you know, $80,000 uh, without the tax credit, without anything, a little less with the tax credit. Is it expensive? Yes, yes, it's fairly expensive. But new trucks are very expensive these days. So it's not more expensive than any other truck, in my view. It's just, just in line. These are expensive vehicles these days. But one of the questions that I have to ask when I look at the, the product of Tesla, the Cybertruck, and any future Tesla product going forward, I have to ask is, what are you really buying? Are you buying just a car? And we know, ever since the introduction of a Cybertruck, that you're not buying just a car. You are buying a car that can be plugged into your home, and that is called bi-directional charging. You can go on a mega charger somewhere, charge the car, drive it back to your home, and power your home if you have an outage, and you can do much more than that. It's actually very valuable to own your own battery bank, very large battery bank, and not pay for it because you went out and bought a vehicle. You bought a vehicle. You didn't expect a dual use when you bought the vehicle, but you have a dual use that I think is going to be very powerful and create a lot of value. So are you really buying just a car when you buy a Cybertruck? No, you're not. You're buying a car and you are buying transportation, but you're also buying something else, a useful object corresponding to... 11 of these, 11 of these Tesla Powerwalls is the same power than that battery of a, of a Cybertruck holds. So 11 of these. And what does that mean? Well, how much, how much power is that, first of all? That's 148 kilowatt hours of power, which is about the estimate of the uh, higher end model of the Cybertruck. That's about the estimate of the Cybertruck model that I've just put out. So 148 kilowatt hours of power. Now, how much would that cost you if you were to buy the Powerwall? Well, that could cost you 8,400 a piece times 11. That's $92,400 worth of battery packs. It's more expensive than the truck itself, and all of a sudden you get dual use for the battery. Not to mention, of course, installing these, setting these up in your garage, you would have probably have to call an electrician, and that, 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 that would cost you many thousands of dollars for such a big install, uh, provided that, 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 that install is even possible. So the truck, buying the truck, and in the future buying any, any car sold by Tesla, and hopefully, once legacy automakers get their act together buying any car, is you're going to be buying transportation, but you're also buying energy storage. It's a two-for-one proposal, and that's very, very powerful. With bi-directional charging, all of a sudden, your car can provide home, your home with energy independence. All of a sudden, your car can enable their energy independence. And imagine if you have two cars, and imagine if you make it so you have two cars and there's always one car parked at home. It's a tremendous revolution. It enables the solar revolution. Batteries used to be the, the main hindrance to the explosion of solar. Well, that hindrance is most mostly gone um, because if you have an oversized solar roof, that, that extra power can go into powering your car and can be stored for days or for weeks thanks to your car or if you have multiple electric cars, thanks to all of your EVs put together. But wait, there's more. Would this be a 3 for one proposal? What, what I call by a 3 for, for one proposal is we have transportation. This is well understood a car and an EV is for transportation. Then you have a residential battery bank that I've just explained, which is, you know, you have power outage, you can use that, you, have, you can use the car to power yourself, you have excess energy from your solar roof, you can use the car to store the energy for not for nights and for, you know, colder days, etc. But is it a money maker too? And the answer to that is yes, yes, it is a money maker because if you have a fully charged car, at nearly all times, sometimes the energy grid is going to need extra power. And we know the energy drink is willing to pay quite a bit of money for that extra power. And this is the whole idea. So in California, in September, a few, a few um, uh, months back, they paid $2.6 per kilowatt hour for each kilowatt hour of energy. They paid 2.6 bucks. So 
with the Tesla app, what you can do is you can say, yeah, I, I'm willing to unload. You know, I want to I wanna un unload. I want to export the energy from my truck, which is plugged in through the bi-directional charger. You say to the app, yeah, I want to export my energy. And then you would discharge, say, you would set it up in the app and say, oh, I want to discharge 80% of my fully charged truck into the grid. And so how much money is that? That's $2.60 $2 per kilowatt hour times 117 kilowatt hour. That'd be 80% that'd be of the truck. So you would make 300 bucks just unloading that energy. And this is already happening. This is happening in Texas. This is also happening in California. And you can see this is an example of a Tesla app with a virtual grid where you have 2,502 homes that are able to simply discharge energy during uh, during an event or, uh, or, or a peak event where the price of power is you know much higher than say 15 20 cents a kilowatt hour so this is almost a free in one proposal the, these products are all inclusive that's why ice cars and gas cars i mean they, they are so left in the dust uh, i cannot understand who would buy an ice car when you see the great benefits of these products. Tesla is my number one investment. Of course, I'm a little biased, but you know, that's just the way it is. Now, I'll conclude with this video with this. And this this really helps us understand the exponentiality. I think we can we can understand the exponentiality just when we look at, at, at how many batteries that is right from that truck. Uh, uh, you know, it's it's a 10x compared to just buying a power wall. But let's see. So, how much power does your average home in America? And of course, your home may use more and may use less. You know, it all depends. But uh, let's uh, let's say for example, California, 535 kilowatt hours is monthly usage. Connecticut, a little more, 700 kilowatt hours. There's a whole list. You can go on this website, saveenergy.com, and you can look at the whole list. Let's assume uh, you live in a house that needs 650 kilowatt hours of energy per month. So with this usage, 148 kilowatt hours, which you get in the base cyber truck, by the way, you don't get it in the extended ranch cyber truck, you get it in the base cyber truck, 148 kilowatt, that would cover exactly seven days of energy use, seven days of energy use. Now, where's the catch in this? Well, the catch is that it's even better. Because of course, if you pair your car with solar, which solar is another convergence that has that I believe is happening at the same time as as a uh, revolution of EVs. So if you have solar on your roof, all of a sudden, your EV becomes only helpful at nights and only helpful on shadowy days. And keep in mind, even a solar panel with, 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 with uh, shadows and with clouds, even those produce a little bit of energy. You, you, you never get a day where you have zero energy production. You get low days, but you never get a day where you have zero production. So even assuming no sun at all for anybody who has a solar roof is not is not reasonable. That number, 148 kilowatt hour, covers seven days of use, seven days of energy use. That only works if you have no solar panel whatsoever, which, which I do believe you'll, you'll have people who find a compelling case of owning a battery just so that they can um, be safe in case of an emergency and in case of a power outage. The point I'm trying to make in this video is that even though a lot of people have called this price expensive, outrageous, double what it was, and by the way, it's not because it's in line with what others are charging. There's been inflation since the launch of a Cybertruck. What people are not considering is the fact that you're also buying a tremendous battery pack, which enables your home to uh, go off grid and be energy independent and also enables you to uh, make money. And and that's that's what I think a lot of people are not seeing with this. So anyways, outstanding product and I'm looking forward to all of the Tesla cars having the bi-directional charging option so that you can actually exploit that battery and use that battery for other purposes than just transportation. This was not investment advice. This is just entertainment. I hope you were entertained. Please like, please subscribe and have a wonderful day.